Where's all my Jeep, minivan, and SUV odors? I've got a 2100 five pound 14 FK uh, Flagstaff E-Pro over here that is cute as a prom date and frankly, just about as small. <laughs> now, a couple little housekeeping notes for you. First of all, you might notice there ain't no microwave. Um, we are getting that replaced. Previous owner had no use for it, wanted the storage, took it out, gave it away, throw it away, I don't know. But there's no microwave in it right now. We are, uh, we've already contacted our service team. We're asking them to find a microwave, get a microwave put in this thing so that you'll have one when you take it home. Now, understand it. when I post this video, if you show up uh, tomorrow, we may not have had time to get that done yet. It's in process at the time of this filming. It takes a little time. The other thing, this is something you can't see, and it's, it's that kind of transparency that I always like to provide here at our family-owned shop. The, I noticed the flooring in the entry door area just slightly soft right there. Now, the thing is, it's not due to a leak. It's not delamination, because this is not a laminated floor. That's actually about the only thing in this RV that's not laminated. Um, this was made uh, before Rockwood added a little bit of weight and a little extra structure. Flagstaff. Sorry, they're the same thing. I'm going to do that a hundred times. We're a Rockwood dealer. I'm used to seeing this trailer from our stock here at Haylet RV. I start thinking in terms of Rockwood. Sorry, I'm going to do that a hundred times. If I say Rockwood, I mean Flagstaff. They're literally the same thing. By the way, if you're curious, I can leave you, ask, drop me a little comment. I'll leave you a link to our, our full factory video tour where these things are built today. Um, and one of the things you'll get to see is the newer floor that I was about to talk about and got off track there. Uh, they have a plywood floor deck and a, uh, uh, a more aluminum stud structure under the now. It's one of the reasons the newer ones are a little more expensive, a little uh, heavier also. This is okay. It's basically the same floor that they have in their pop-up A-frames. It's a 5.8 uh, OSB deck. It is an aluminum structure, but it's uh, the studs were a little bit further apart to save some weight. And every now and then in a really high traffic area, like, like you can't go in and out of this RV without stepping in front of that door. Tiny little soft spot. I spent two minutes talking about this, something that probably could have taken 15 seconds. I just want you to know what's here because if you drive from a bunch of hours away or you buy this thing sight unseen, I want you to know what you're getting into. Now, that being said, we had our we had Big John who's like well over 300 pounds and six foot eight standing all over this thing. He goes, yeah, I can feel it, but I ain't worried about it. It's there, it's not a big deal. I always thought it was really smart when they went to this lighter, brighter decor. The very first generation of uh, E-Pro, Geo-Pros had a, a darker interior that always, to me, is like, that was the wrong decision in a small space. I want a brighter color to open it up. And they still have a brighter color today, but not quite this pseudo farmhousey white sort of look here. You might notice it's a ventless, carpetless floor. The post for the uh, dining table, by the way, is over here in the closet space below the refrigerator. Um, for the most part, virtually everything from the factory uh, is still here. There's one little thing I'll talk about outside that isn't there. This is a three-way refrigerator, by the way. This is uh, 110 sh shore power. It does have a propane auto changeover backup, but it is also 12 volt. So it is a three-way fridge. Now, that being said, it is still a passive absorption fridge. When you hear 12 volt today, you tend to think active compressor fridge, faster cooling. It is still a slower cooling fridge. And actually on 12 volt, that will probably be more of a cooler than a refrigerator. Now, this layout might look familiar to a lot of people. This is the 14FK. This was actually the very first uh, GeoPro E-Pro uh, floor plan that was ever created. And uh, it, it was it was out there for a couple years. It was kind of popular. And then they, they created the 15TB, which has, it's basically the same layout, slightly longer, but with twin uh, beds that can convert into a king. And uh, it kind of overtook this one, but basically the same camper. Good drawer space right there. Again, that microwave is going to be uh, replaced. We're actively working on that. I'm not sure previous owners stubbed their toes on the entry threshold or whatnot, but they added that little toe kick right there. So um, I don't know, maybe that was just a sign of the floor dipping down a little bit and they caught it a few times. Now this TV can pivot around. It is also 12 volt and it has an integrated DVD unit, which is kind of cool because up top you have your uh, Furion Bluetooth stereo and Wi-Fi Ranger. This is one of the very first mainstream campers that ever standardized the use of a uh, like a LTE or Wi-Fi booster or something like that. You know, I figure you probably at least want to get a little look in that closet, don't you? 
That was actually one of the things I always thought was really smart. And like on the uh, the 19 FBS model, they do the same thing. There's a hanging rack up, like uh, up inside of there effectively. Now, if you go adding some solar to this, because this was made before solar was standard on these, uh, that sticker over there on the left is where the charge controller uh, would be located, by the way. And I tell you, um, like look at around here, I'm gonna pan you to the left and try not to make you motion sick. It's a pre-owned RV. There's a couple little, uh, you know, scuffle kerfuffles around this thing, but I haven't noticed anything major um, in terms of like, oh man, he, ex he, he bashed something into something and something got banged up and damaged. I don't really see a whole lot of that. Now it is a small mini little kitchenette, but <laughs> frankly, the whole thing is a small little mini camper. Now, when we get over here, to keep the size small, this is one of the very few models they ever made that is a wet bath, where it's a combination toilet and shower. And before you have a heart attack, going, man, there's no way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower in here. Uh, these are just wall panels. Remember, this is Asdell. That is not just a, a, a common uh, like wood panel. The material itself is waterproof, so it doesn't need shower surround paneling. Now, it's a little mini space. They have a little mini, almost like truck camper style uh, fan up there, but it makes sense. And this is, uh, it seems weird. It's an outside baggage door on the inside of the camper, but frankly, it makes a very watertight little shelf space in there to keep some towels. Kind of brilliant. And it's that smaller, thinner body size. And actually, the sidewalls are only six foot one tall. It just has like a five inch vaulted roof to give you that open sense of space inside. Plus, the double Asdell walls that are on this. That's something that um, wasn't very well documented and well known, but the Geo and E Pro series have always been double Asdell walls. A lot of people don't realize that because for like the first two years of their production, just like this one, there was no Asdell sticker on the wall. So everybody wanted to argue with me about it. <laughs> And finally, they put an Asdell sticker on it and never goes, oh, okay. It looks like the uh, only two factory options that were applied to this one is that front uh, bike rack. And then you see the low profile 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Um, a lot of things that used to be optional have since become standard. But this was made when you could really build one of these actually without even an air conditioner. If you really wanted to be like a true 12 volt warrior on one of these guys. Um, the, uh, uh, it doesn't have today's larger tire package, so kind of keep that in mind. It is a little bit lower riding, but we can perform the axle uplift and uh, the larger tire outfit on this. We've done that for clients before in the past. Um, the uh, power on here, not super large, but frankly, they did the best that they could on this little camper. Uh, the RV was also made before they started to come with those handy little griddle stations. This originally, the only factory thing I see missing actually, is that this originally had a Coleman camp grill right there, but in a stroke of sheer genius, the people over there at Rockwood Flagstaff uh, always built these with a little uh, propane cooker hooker down below. So that if you want to add some sort of uh, grill setup or black stone or anything like that, you do have the ability to do so. Now, a cool thing in uh, Rockwood Flagstaff production is anything that is load bearing, like the structure of the walls, the roof, the floor, uh, or the, uh, like the dinettes or beds, they're always aluminum framed. It's a welded aluminum cage all the way around this thing. You see the frameless windows just looking sleeker and snot on this thing right here. She's backup camera ready. Uh, that's another thing that we can assist you with here at Halo RV. Um, one other thing I want to mention is this was made before solar was standard on these. At the time this was made, you could get an optional 100 watt solar uh, panel on the roof, like a flex panel. But thankfully, the uh, you can actually see it up there uh, due to the curvature of the roof, the roof prep plug uh, is standard. So if you want to add a roof panel on this, you can. The previous owner did a lot of dry camping, but they did it by using like a portable panel so that they could park in the shade and chase the sun. It is actually capable of doing both and it's capable of doing both at the same time, which I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, just, <laughs> just look at that thing. Tiny little thing, isn't it? A lot of fun though, these guys. Um, again, this model I believe has been uh, discontinued from future production, but the, the basis, the spirit of this one does still live on in the 15TB today, which again has that twin to king vertible bed system. Another one of my million number 37 nerdisms. You get the idea. This one though, lighter weight, less money because it's pre-owned. 
Maybe you want to add some solar to it. Maybe not. Maybe it's perfectly fine for you how it is. Maybe you're just one person running around or you're a cozy couple. Frankly, I've seen some families that co-sleep together that get along just fine in little things like this. However, you camp, we got one here. And it's nice to have something a little bit lighter weight for a change. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Okay.